I wanted to start the video off today with something fun. Me and Caden made a TikTok reel short. I ended up putting them on all platforms. So we had a little bit of fun at the shop this morning. He's a fan of the channel. I want to make sure to show some love to him in the video. And I'm going to put the reel short TikTok, whatever you want to call it, in the video so you guys can see it. And I just want to say thank you for watching the videos. And like I said, we made a, a cool little video this morning. I've been doing a lot of shorts. So if you guys want to see more, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that stuff, make sure you guys uh, subscribe. And he makes YouTube videos as well. So I'm going to get him to uh, give me his uh, his description or give me your channel name. I'm going to put it in the description. So y'all go check him out. Show some love on the, on the channel. I was really getting excited that we were gonna build our 12 inch FTS for the truck from Arizona this week and the lift kit's running a little bit behind. So make sure you guys stay tuned. This truck is getting built. And one of the next videos, uh, I got the Rick Ross show this weekend, so this will probably get done after that one. So maybe like a week, week and a half, something like that. Back at the shop on a Monday morning, I stopped by the shop on Saturday before the Rick Ross show just to come help open up because we weren't meeting Manny and the rest of the guys until about 10 or so. So I came and helped them open up. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is the truck that got shipped here from Arizona about two or three weeks ago. We finally got the lift kit in and they started it Saturday while I was here. Obviously I was busy and I didn't get a chance to film it, but they've got a bunch of the front of the truck tore down already. And this is getting a 12 inch all chrome FTS lift, front compression struts, rear traction bars, 28 by 16s, Furies. This is gonna be a crazy build. And it came all the way from Arizona, which is the furthest we've ever had a truck come from. He shipped it here two or three weeks ago. I'm gonna throw a couple clips in here just so you guys can get caught up on that. tag on it that's lame stuff like this is always how do you justify to somebody watching where it actually came from you know what i mean that's freaking cool this truck just came from arizona do you know what city in arizona scottsdale, scottsdale arizona But this is our 12 inch all chrome FTS cross member going on. And then we got the wheels and tires inside. 2022 Denali refresh front end. This one's gonna be freaking sweet. Y'all need to stay tuned. It's been so damn busy today. I've had no time to film or do anything today, but I wanted to show you guys this freaking sweet ass high country before it leaves today. I have to show y'all cause it's my favorite color. Did a six and a half inch BDS on this 2022 high country 1500. The beautiful like Cajun red color. Love the front end on these new 2022 high country I just I love the design right here in the corner of the headlight something about that I just I really like it I like the front end I like the little bronze accents that it has up front it's freaking beautiful kept the factory 20s through a wheel spacer on there 37 13 50 20 mud grabs one of the best tires ever made it's a freaking beautiful tire. look at the little moldings down the side on this that's freaking cool I just noticed that and it's got the little little bronze colored accent with it too that's freaking nice actually chrome window trim chrome mirrors chrome door handles chrome accents down the side it's freaking beautiful the uh, the factory wheels actually accent it very nice we did a six and a half inch bds kit with the 37s might be the greatest daily driver setup we've ever seen on one of these new body style trucks we can do a leveling kit in 33 inch mud wraps or we can do a 35 inch on like a three and a half but the six and a half with the 37s is freaking beautiful and i was just looking at this with a buddy of mine up here at the shop that dropped his truck off look at the look at the blue inside freaking blue door panels the blue seats center consoles blue the blue on reds freaking beautiful look got a little little high country stitching up there it's a freaking beautiful truck i really like it i know he's gonna be super happy with it mud grabs we should have done skins out 
but either way i mean it's a mud grab you gotta love it but that red and blue together is freaking beautiful let me know if this is the best daily driver setup you've ever seen in your entire life finally finished up our 2024 denali there's so much to go over with this truck and i don't even really know where to start he had this powder coated this really nice like satin matte what up mikey the satin matte like black color i don't even know what color this is to be honest he had just about every part of the truck color matched you got the vader chrome up front or whatever color it is i can never remember oh Hi, Hal. I can never remember what color it is, but it's got a super nice black wrap on it with the nice black like Vader chrome accents on the front, which is super cool. Four inch Cognito with all of the upgrades. You got the upper control arms, the dual reservoir shocks, the Elka. Never heard of those. It's supposed to be really good. Super excited for him to let me know how those turn out. It's 2024. It's one of the first ones with a four inch Cognito lift, which is super cool. Got your 22 by 10 JTX wheels, powder coated all gloss black. Gotta have your metal center caps it's a must have with forged wheels these days and then we got your 37 1250 22 toyo rt trails freaking beautiful tire one of toyo's newest tires it's just a pretty truck it really is not too big not too small love the color beautiful design love the wheel shout out jtx beautiful wheel shout out toyo because toyo owns nitto gotta show love to the uh, to the home team there let me know what you guys think of the comments guy drove from a from a while away i'm pretty sure it's from florida he might correct me in the comments i'm pretty sure it's from florida i forget at this point because we do so many from out of town but you know I love you guys for coming through the shop, driving from so far away, joining the family, building a truck, spending all your money. I love you guys. Let's get this bread. I'll let you be mine. It's already recording. Right, I like right. to involve people in the videos sometimes. You yeah. Know? Just make, make it a little more interesting, right? Yeah. So, but TJ didn't even know that we're from this area, so I got to throw him in a video. Get him involved. Let him hold the camera. I'm not going to show the other side, but he, he knows what's going on on the other side of the Tahoe. But he came through, got a lift kit, got some wheels and tires. It's beautiful. I got a Tahoe at home, so you know I'm a fan of the Tahoes. All I'm saying is I feel like he's got the Tahoe version of my truck. We got the same mirrors. We got the same color. It's about the same body style. I mean, yours is like the Tahoe version of mine, essentially. So yeah. All I'm saying is at some point, I kind of want to manifest it. You need some red wheels at some point. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe we'll get there, maybe not, but just in front of y'all, I want to say I love y'all. I appreciate all of y'all for coming through and showing love to the channel. People that just know the channel and spend, you know, spend all your money and time up here. From me to y'all and in front of him, I appreciate y'all and i love y'all let's get Big this it's a video of alex holding the wheel light to help make it look like i'm doing something on the truck when i know damn well i'm not doing anything for real <laughs> What we got, what we got. I know that you probably want me to help you at work today, but I can't leave this spot of the room, dude. I can't stop looking at it. That's probably one of the best dually wheels we've ever done. It's called the Omen. Their floaters feel luxurious. That's nice. Uh, gloss black accents and a brush finish. Brush cleared. This is a new wheel for this year, too. Really? New design for 2023? Yeah. Oh, look. It spins with the box. Unintentional flex. I wanted to give a uh, shout out to Adrian and Private Label Built for coming by the shop today. We mounted up these 26 inch JT8 wheels, JTX wheels for him the other day and some Furies. He's got this beautiful 2023 F450, all color matched white with the four and a half inch striker kit on it. Radius arm kit in the front with all the polished face plates. Absolutely beautiful truck. I just want to give him a quick shout out on the channel, Adrian and Private Label Built, with the beautiful 2023. Let me know what you guys think of the new uh, front end. I think a lot of you guys are gonna hate it until you see him lifted. But hey, 2023 is out here, kind of killing it right now. Me and Adrian from Private Label Built did a skit yesterday that was really funny, and the views are doing pretty good on social media. So I'm gonna put the video in the video today so you guys can see it. A lot of you guys on YouTube may not follow the Instagram or TikTok, um, so you don't get to see or any of the shorts even on YouTube. So I wanna put it in these videos so you guys can see some of the good ones that I feel like would get good views. Just keep walking, walk that way. This way? That way, keep going, keep going, keep oh, this going. Is terrifying. All right, Dad, stop. All right, now you can uncover your eyes. Oh my God. My, do you like me? it? Do you like it? Freaking love it. You got for me? What do you love about it? Where are the it? keys? Hold on, Where hold, the on keys? hold on, hold on. Where are the on. keys? What do you love about so it? You did not just give me a 20, 20, 23 with the new front end? It's a 23. 26s? 
Did you with the with the spike cap? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Did you get me a white lift kit? It's white. Oh. You no. like that, huh? Oh, Jonathan's gonna be pissed. Oh, this is so much better than his truck. You like the color match? You even color match the emblem, Dad. I love you. Oh, with the big screen, and you got the seventy-five year edition. God, you're the best. You're the best dad ever. You right, know that? I want you to come over here. You missed something. What? Come here. Come here. Is this something else? Oh yeah. Something else? All right, what, now, I, what did I miss? Here's what I want you to do. Cover your eyes again. All right, now walk to your left. left. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. All right, now you can uncover your eyes. Does it match a trailer? You can uncover your eyes. That's your truck. Really? 23 is mine. That's yours. You get you get the new truck and I get the old truck? You said you wanted a uh, John, striker lifted truck. So that's a striker lifted truck. The hell, what is this? What is, what is this, like an 18? It's a 22. It's not, even, it's not even a 23. You said you got me a 23. Jonathan's dad just bought him a 24. You can't even get me the new front end. The lift kit doesn't even match the truck. Like, are you serious? These look like 24s on here. You couldn't even get me Furies? Furies is the best tire in the whole world, and you couldn't even get me Furies? I told you it had to have Furies. And you put, what is this? What is this, cross mutter MTs or some crap? Like, I don't want these. It's not color matched. It doesn't have spike lugs. Like, all, all, I, all I run, I wanted the spike lugs. Furies and spike lugs. It's not color matched, it's not a 23. Where, look, whatever, wherever you got it from, take it back. I don't want it. If you guys are enjoying the skits, make sure you guys drop a comment below. I'm always trying to show love to the people that come from out of town. My friend here came from Birmingham and he's got an F-150. I know you guys love to see the F-150s and the Ram, and the F-150s and the Rams, and we've got a really nice Cummins that's getting done with some 26 inch JTX wheels today. But I wanted to show you guys this one that came from Birmingham today. I didn't think so. We didn't put a lift kit on this. I'm not gonna take credit for that. He's got a really nice BDS lift kit on here with the, uh, rough, with the rough country reservoirs up front, coilovers. We did some 2614 Artem Curvis. Artem has a really nice wheel. I really love the gloss black look of the Artem wheels right now. It's a super clean, super nice wheel. I love the, the curve of the lip. It's a really nice wheel. Paired up with the Fury, it's one of the nicest combos, and I say it every time we do it on these trucks. 26, 14s, and 35s with the Furies and the Artem wheels. It's, it's, it's one of the top ones right now, but I'm always trying to show love to all my Fords that come through, and he came from out of town, so we appreciate you. Always a part of the fam. Let's get this bread. Adrian brought that 2023 Dually out here yesterday for us to see, and he brought a Another 2023, but this one's an F-250 on JTX and Striker wheels, and I, I kind of like this one a little bit better, to be honest with you. Similar build style, 2023 F-250, all color matched. I actually really do like the way that the lights all kind of line up together. That's one of my favorite features about this truck. Everything else, I'm pretty sure everything is about the same. They change a little bit of stuff, right? Emblems on it, front, rear. Pretty sure the lights are a little bit different in the back. So there's definitely a couple of changes here and there. You got your 26 by 14 JTX wheels. I'm pretty sure, no, it's not a Kimbo. I don't remember which one this is. I'm not even gonna lie. 37, 14, 50, 26 Furies. Love the Furies on it. I really do like the all white. The all white and chrome is super freaking beautiful together. Got your carbon coilovers up there. That striker faceplate. Four link in the front, big traction bars in the back with the drop down cradle in the middle. It is a beautiful, beautiful truck. Let me know what you guys think of these new 2023s. This one and the one yesterday were both an Atlanta truck invasion. So if you guys came out to that show, you definitely would have seen this one. Look at that dual steering stabilizer up front. Freaking beautiful. Striker makes a great kit. I'm not going to lie. And this is a freaking beautiful truck. You cannot deny that. It, it might be depending, <laughs> depending, depending, depending on how many videos you watch. It might be my favorite. I'm not putting him on the spot. I got to put him in the video at some point. Richard came all the way from Arizona to get a truck done, which is, that's all I guess. It came from Arizona. He flew in today. Truck's been here for what, a week, two weeks, something like that. <laughs> Month. Yeah. Or, yeah. Longer than that. Actually, I've it's been here for a while. We were waiting on the lift kit to get here, but I'm not putting him on the spot for anything other than had to make sure that he was fed properly while he was here. So we got to show him the, the chicken run experience. Yeah, let me, yeah. Boy, a little, yeah, I got a little bones in there already. A little, little barbecue mild <laughs> lemon pepper over here. Little uh, Georgia gold lemon pepper over here with some sweet tea, extra crispy fries, and then Mikey and Leonard got some too. So you know we had to treat, treat where, there's chicken wings in there somewhere. We had to treat him right while he's up here at the shop getting some, uh, Appreciate it. getting the truck lifted. is on the ground, wheels on it, lift kits on it, upper control arms, rear traction bars are on, Leonard's finishing up the bags in the back, wherever he was, he's down there somewhere, uh, he's over there. 
putting that bag on. So Richard stayed the night last night. A build like this is normally a two or three day process. You know, the 12 inch kits and all the extra stuff, the airbags need a lot of modifications. We do have the best guys in the, in the nation working on it though, so. I mean, I trust these guys to do anything that we need. Got another four or five hours that we, of work that they gotta put into it. Goal is to get it out of here by about 12, so Richard should be rolling up sometime soon. Guess we need to get something good for lunch again today, right? Hey, what's for lunch? What's for lunch? Ah, it's not even nine o'clock yet and I'm trying to figure out what's for lunch today. I got a problem. We did this yesterday and we're gonna do it again. Back for day number two. He's supposed to be gone this morning. We're double checking a couple things on the truck. So he's here for lunch again and we're gonna, he's from, so J&J &J is from Chicago and I had kind of sort of known that but didn't know that for sure. Hold on, we're just gonna use this as a, Ooh, terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's gonna work though. So you know we had to do that. I wanted this yesterday, but Leonard wasn't feeling it. So you know we had to hit up the J&J &J fish and get some, uh, he got some catfish and I got the catfish and the tenders here. I'm trying to. Yeah, we, got, we got to get your taste, the first taste yeah. of mild sauce on yeah. camera. I don't know, There's a, apparently there's a difference between mild sauce and mild sauce. I didn't know that, so. Mild and hot. Mild and hot, sorry. There's a hot sauce and a mild sauce difference apparently so I'm gonna make a mess over here for sure oh it's fire all right so hot sauce obviously like like crystal or something right you like crystal crystal kind of guy the mild sauce is a almost smells more ketchupy barbecue kind of dive into that I didn't even know this was a thing yeah It's like a ketchup-y, barbecue, hot sauce, maybe? Is that what you say? Sweet barbecue. Yeah, that's fire. Okay. That's fire. Is Tell the people about J&J. All you gotta do is look at this lemonade, bro, and they got whole lemons in there. You know it's good. Tell them about, tell them about J&J, Leonard. What'd you get? Fish and chicken? Fish and chicken with some mild sauce? Bro, you gotta try that. Why don't you get hot sauce? I got hot sauce, too. And we got some banana pudding. <laughs> banana pudding. trying to film outside there's a driving school next to us and they let out you now it seems like they get 10 breaks a day i see the kids walking back forth to the gas station 10 times a day it seems like looks like i-75 yeah. behind you i'm telling you and there's probably 30 40 kids in every class and when they let out at the end of the day the whole parking lot fills up and there's just not a single open spot and that's what's happening right now other than these two spots and those you got cars parked in every spot so it's like if we tried to film Every five seconds there's a car coming and that would just piss us off. So we might as well wait, right? It's the worst time. Yeah. We've never never done this before. Never timed it so unperfectly to be stuck here like this. At least the lighting's good. Yeah. I guess no better time. So this is Richard. Richard, I told you guys at the beginning of the video, Richard came from Arizona, shipped the truck here a month ago, right? We got the truck, it sat here for a couple of weeks waiting on the lift kit. And then Richard flew out yesterday. Was it yesterday? Richard flew out yesterday from Arizona, come to pick the truck up. Something like this, I think the far, furthest we've, we've had, he's from Chicago, but the furth furthest with, that we've had currently is from Chicago, or like Texas area. We've had Homestead, Chicago, Pennsylvania, Texas, Arkansas, uh, Missouri, or St. Louis is pretty far too, so all to the surrounding states, but we're branching out you know, past that Midwest area, you know? So Arizona is definitely the furthest that somebody's physically come, and in front of Richard on camera, in front of hopefully thousands of people, 
I love all of you for coming this far and showing love and spending money, spending time with us, eating food, just experiencing the lifestyle. You know, we live it every day and we get so caught up and still having to work, but we're we're grateful for, for stuff like this and it's a it's a blessing is what it is and we can come back and watch it till the end of time because it's on YouTube. So that's my, my cheesy, heartfelt, I love you guys moment for the video. Now we get to go look at a beautiful truck because look how empty the parking lot is now. Just for me talking for four or five minutes, there's Everything is almost empty now, so please join me. MTV Cribs, welcome to my crib, MTV. This is Southern Tire, where we build the uh, the best stuff in the whole world, the whole nation, because people come from all over, like I said. 2022 GMC Denali. So one thing I need to tell you about this truck, it does have the adaptive ride control, and yes, you can lift the truck this big with adaptive ride control without messing up the suspension, the lights, the computers, the electronics, none of it. It's all lifted, the adaptive ride control is still there, none of the lights are on, I can show you all if you don't believe me. I don't care because we did it and it's perfect. So, 2022 GMC Denali. It is 22, right? Y'all never answered my question. 23. You're being. Is it 23? It is. 23 GMC Denali 1500 Denali with the adaptive ride control. We did a 12 inch all chrome FTS lift. We got chrome front cross member, chrome front compression bars, chrome rear traction bars, and chrome upper control ones. We went all out with this one. 2816 JTX Alphas and a 381650 28. Fury MT. If, you, if you're going bigger than 24s, 26s, Fury's the way to go. We got the beautiful, beautiful, come here, come here. Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, I'm getting on the ground today. Oh, it's hot. We got the beautiful 12 inch chrome cross member from FTS. FTS, when you do the big 12 inch, it's not the normal size, right? Vic's truck behind you has the normal size cross member. The 12 inch, the big boy, the foot long. That's a good one, actually. I never thought about it that way. The foot long, my boy's got a foot long. The foot long cross member is a lot bigger. It's taller, it's wider. It's just got a better shape, better presentation. Absolutely love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Hold it, baby, you want to. I'm gonna fuck you up. Get out of here, trash. I'm about to get some kid's lawyer on me out here. Hey, don't make daddy's money Alex have to come out. They don't want to see daddy's money Alex come out today. We might have some fucking problems. 2816 JTX Alpha. This was a custom cut wheel for Jake, and now it's a custom cut wheel for Richard. And none of you guys are ever gonna be able to have this wheel because it's one of one. So look, you got traffic jams about to happen behind you. I'm just gonna pretend like I can't hear. What's going on back there? Don't look back there. I don't know what's going on back there. 38, 16, 50, 28. <laughs> I don't know what's going on back there. There's traffic jams and stuff. I'm not in the road right now. Let's talk about the back tire. Yeah, yeah. Stand, stand back there. The Furia. Yeah. <clears throat> 2816 Furies and 38s is a beautiful combination. We do have, uh, shout out Andrew McNeely, McSqueely. Um, he's going to hate me for that one. We got his rock lights and wheel lights on the truck, which is super cool. Never done those before. We're going to see how it goes. It's our first time. So he's got a, what would you call a five row wheel light? The five row? It's not a, a quad row. It'd be a well. I ordered them last month, so we call it the Cinco de Mayo. Is it a quintuple row? <laughs> Quintuple row? I don't know what it's. I don't know what you would call a five. So anyway, we got his his five row wheel lights on the truck. Shout out to Andrew McNeely H2G Lighting Customs. H2G Customs. I don't know if it's Lighting Customs or just Customs. But shout out Andrew McNeely. But I like JTX's wheels. They got a beautiful cut, and the 2816s went perfectly on this one. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the exhaust in a second. This exhaust, I mean, I'm laying down because it's hot as hell out here. Sorry. Yeah, just go ahead and take you a seat. Let's take a moment here. All right. So, fully custom exhaust. Wait, fully... Who's running the shop? I don't know who's running the shop right now, but I don't hear the phone ringing, so we're good. Fully custom, bolt-on exhaust. It's all nice and chrome and stainless all the way through. It's freaking beautiful. We got a couple of rock lights under here, I see. Mikey did a good job mounting all the rock lights. We got a full... That's welded on there too. That that boy that bad boy ain't coming off. My guy Richard has a popcorn truck business, and he needed something to haul his popcorn truck. So, got him hooked up with the stabilizer bars. Beautiful Gen Y hitch that we could not get powder coated because Gen Y is weird about the bushings in this apparently. So we couldn't get this powder coated, but it's still beautiful. And we got the stabilizer bars to go with it. Rock lights, wheel lights. What you need, meat? Corolla sweat. Yeah. What? The no, Corolla customer sweating. It's on the rack. It's over. It's done. Oh, it's done? Yep. Yeah, you see me put the keys up. He's in there asking for y'all. Okay. Well, tell him I'm, I'm over here. Uh... I told him I would get y'all. Okay. Alright. Yes, sir. Anyway. <laughs> Sweatpants in there. Um. <laughs> Jim, my hitch, the exhaust. I gotta show y'all the exhaust. The exhaust sounds absolutely beautiful, but I guess let's move along. We got sweatpants in there waiting on us. 
Oh gosh, jeez. Sorry. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm about to be 26. I'm getting old out here. You wanna hear the exhaust real quick? Here. I hear your knees popping. Yeah, this sounds like ball joints down there going bad. small things we're gonna add to it we got spikes going on the upper control arms we got the bullet antenna that's going on there in a week or two um, you got a starlight kit going in the truck next week supercharger. supercharger going on the truck in the next week or two all kinds of stuff that I guess I'm gonna have to oh yeah oh come here oh yeah Richard's got the camera now now we can have some uh, <laughs> now we can have a good time you can be loose you know you know <laughs> it's, it's not a big deal um, we did we did put a uh, custom installed set of airbags on here that's for sure this is very custom this this bag kit with such a big lift it is safe i promise very safe but we had to make some custom brackets for this so fully uh functional airbag kit to go with your gen y hitch to be able to haul the popcorn truck and really the only other cool thing to show you the all chrome traction bars in the back are really cool so you got your shock brackets in the back for the adaptive ride control so you keep the factory shocks and then you got your beautiful fts all chrome traction bars in the back I mean, it's super clean, simple. There's enough to be different, but not too much to look like you're doing too much. Does that make sense? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it don't make sense. Black truck, chrome wheels, chrome lift. Mwah. Freaking beautiful. Nothing but the best. I try and be, I try and be grateful for these moments because they seem like they come so fast. So with Richard holding the camera, I appreciate you for coming from so far away. We had a good time. I wish I could spend more time with the people. There's a lot of people that come through, and some of them you, you kind of feel like you'd be friends if they lived here. So you know. This, it won't be the last time I see you, I promise. We'll figure something out. If I gotta buy a cheap flight to Scott Stale at some point so I can come try Arizona out for, for a weekend, we need to do something because I don't want this to be the last time I see the truck. It's too beautiful and we've had such a good time. If you guys are seeing this video, this video is gonna drop Thursday night. If y'all if y'all made it this far in the video, I'm in New York City right now, right? I'm gonna drop the video at eight o'clock. So if it's after nine o'clock on Thursday, your boy's in New York City. So y'all need to stay tuned. I got good videos coming out this weekend. Y'all need to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna tag him in the comments. He's got an Instagram, y'all go show some love. He's a great dude and he deserves it. You guys know what it is. Let's get this bread.